Gilbert Burns and Stephen Thompson have agreed to fight. And you want to know what? Good for these guys. First off, Thompson deserves something good to happen to him. Thompson is the only guy, by example, in the top five who has not had a shot at Usman. And history of the sport oftentimes says, well, before you get the shot, you got to beat a former number one contender. He's getting that opportunity. Just by example, good for Stephen Thompson. The other side of the coin is the example that Gilbert Burns has set and continues to set for the entire division, possibly the sport as a whole. Possibly the sport as a whole. But this division of 170 right now has me banging my head on the wall because some of them are my favorite guys to watch. Some of them really are my favorite guys to watch. We, we can't get them to fight. We cannot get them to go out there and compete. All at once, the only guy that ever wants to compete, and it will be against anybody, anytime, let's get out there and compete. Let's learn what we can learn. I'll fall where I fall. If I'm not good enough to beat you, then I don't deserve to be in front. Gilbert Burns. And many guys make it to the top, and all of a sudden they change. Many guys who beg to get into the organization and beg for an opportunity, get all of those things, and then turn the gun back on the promotion. Time after time, that happens. You want to know who made the most money? Of all of 2020, at 170 pounds, his name is Gilbert Burns. Period. That's going to piss a lot of you off. That's going to piss off some champions that have pay-per-view points built. Gilbert Burns beat you all. He worked harder than you all. He did more than you all, but he made more than you all. And I only bring that to you because you're the ones that want to talk about money. You guys are the ones that constantly want to talk about money. That's a way of saying, I don't want to do something. That's negotiating yourself out of something. You have a contract, honor your contract. Gilbert Burns does that. Oh, by the way, he keeps getting rewarded by getting what he wants because what he wants is reasonable, which is matches. How is that hard to see? Because by the way, and the reason I bring this to you is that's what all of you used to have. All of you used, all the guys that are refusing to fight in any division right now, we just watched John Jones maneuver himself out of an opportunity, but all of the guys used to have that. They had a dream of just getting in the organization. Anything on top of that, woo, was beyond their dreams. Main car, I'm going to fight on television, co-main event, I'm going to be doing media opportunities, main event, I'm going to be in the marquee, my name's going to be like, I mean, right, it's one of those things, but then once they get it, like anything in fairness, everything, no matter how much you like it, if you have to do it, becomes a job. It becomes work. It becomes something that I'd rather not do. It's just the way that it works. I get that. I don't blame anybody for that. But I do want to commend Gilbert Burns for resisting that. Gilbert, you think Gilbert Burns doesn't feel the same way? He just had all the eyes of the world on him for a world championship. All of it. He's not going to have that, right? Whatever goes up must come down. He's going to be in a down. Even on a down, he's going to be main eventing against Wonder Boy which is a very compelling matchup because it brings you back to 1993. You got the striker versus the grappler. It's the oldest and most understandable storyline of fight. It's a great match. Set all of that aside. There is a leadership being done here by Gilbert Burns. He is, he is setting a message and the message is very clear. And if you don't want to do what he does, no problem. He's going to take all the damn money, all of it. And I'm not here to talk about money, and neither is Gilbert. You guys are talking about it, but he's the one taking it all. None of you made what he made. I agree. He did more. He fought more. I, I got the whole thing. Who cares? I don't care if this is your salary. You had to work overtime. At the end of the year, what did you do versus the competition? That's the way that this works. And all Gilbert has, guys, all Gilbert has is a good attitude, but it's the same attitude that you once had. You lost it. You lost your way. I talk about this all the time with my father-in-law. We sit back, we watch what you guys are doing, and he cannot figure it out. He was a sports guy himself. He can't figure it out. Went on to be a coach, went on to coach me. He can't figure out how guys don't take opportunities. And he's older. We celebrated his 60th birthday. by saying He's an older so he looks back. He'd love to have the opportunity, but I'm in the same spot. I'm in the same spot as a guy who's left the sport and I got a whole bunch of regrets except for one. One thing I don't ever have to regret was missing a match, ever. And I would regret that. I would, I still have fantasies. Still have fantasies that I can walk out there one more time. Still have these fantasies. 
And I have a lot of regret like anybody. Ah, I wish I would have done this different, right? That's just life. But I'll tell you, I don't have this one. And I'm imparting this upon you as advice. I don't get anything for this. I don't get it. Right? This, nothing happens to me. I just don't want this to happen to you. And it's happening right now. It's not happened to Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns is going to leave with a ton of good memories. And he's going to leave looked at very fondly. And he's going to leave looked at as a leader who's setting an example, which I don't think was ever his goal. That's just the reality. And most leaders, by the way, that's what happens. They never intended to lead. They were reluctant leaders. I don't think that Gilbert has any part of him that is set out to set an example to the rest of you, but you should be taking it from a guy who hasn't fought in less than a main event, who's fought for a world championship, who will fight for another championship, and who made more money than any of you. And some of you are very high paid. So he didn't have the same beautiful contract you did. So what? Does he sit around and feel bad about himself or does he work an extra day? He still doesn't have what you have. Does he feel bad or does he work an extra day? Where did that go? Where did this mindset go? I'm preaching to you, but I swear to goodness, it comes from a place of trying to help just so you don't have regret. One of the worst things in life. And you've got regret. You can at least relate to that. You've got things that you regret. You'll look back on middle school. Something happened. Could be anything. Doesn't have to be sports related, but you have regret. I wish I would have done it this way. And I'm assuring you, when you hear about these windows in sport, I'm assuring you, one day you'll be on a run. Tell you exactly what happened with me. One day I was, I was going to do this sport forever. I was going to beat Randy Couture's record. He was in there at 47. I was going to beat Randy's record. I was never going to stop this sport. I was going to go after what George Foreman did and go to your 50 years old. One day I was on a run. And I realized, not that it was over, I realized that someday it would be over. The run felt different. Did this run every Sunday with Clayton Hires. It felt different at a different point. I was hurting and my body was giving me a message three quarters of a mile before my body had ever started giving me a message. I'm just sharing with you, that was my, but that was the day. I remember where I was. I was training for Michael Bisping. I remember very specifically what this was. And I remember going, okay, it's not over. But this whole, hey, Chael, I'm going to do this until I'm 50 isn't true. There was a day that I had to realize that and was on a run. I mean, of all things, wasn't it a competition? I was running, but I knew the way I felt. And I knew that that was feeling that way because I wasn't 18 and 19 and 25 anymore. I just knew it. I'm only sharing that with you. You hear about this window. Everybody talks about a window and your window closes. You're just in a window. Boom, boom. And you're done. You're done. It's, it's real. That window's real. And some of you have already lived it. High school was a window, four years. College, if you went on and did it, was a window, four years. Military service was a window, if you did it, two to four years. I'm just saying, by example, you know that these messages are true, but somehow you think it won't be true for your sport. How come Gilbert can do it? How come Gilbert can have the same mindset? How come with everything great going in Gilbert's life, he can still do the same stuff? Go to the gym, hang out with the same people, have the same family. How, why, why? You think he doesn't have those distractions? You don't think that a higher class of scumbag is now trying to infiltrate his circle? He stayed focused. He hasn't forgot who he is or what he wants. And he hasn't forgot that there's adversities that come along the way and you deal with them. It's called a fight. He's fighting. But along the way, he's getting more and more opportunities. And I don't make this about the money. That's on you guys. He's making more money. Gilbert Burns is beating you right in front of your face. You're losing right now to Gilbert Burns.